What's up guys, Gave Productions here. Today I'll be talking about and reviewing another piece of pandemic related tech and whether or not it is worth it for you to pick one up for yourself. I guess I'll put this under underrated tech just because it isn't talked about a lot and I also think that this product is pretty cool. So what am I going to talk about today? It's a product that first made its appearance at the start of the pandemic and many YouTubers have also reviewed this product. It is a UV sterilizer. If we are being specific, this is the ITFIT or ITFIT UV sterilizer with wireless charging from Samsung. From now on, I'll be referring to this as the Samsung UV sterilizer. So as I've mentioned, the UV sterilizer first made its debut at the start of the pandemic last year in the form of the phone soap. Definitely a suitable name for what it was trying to market. Now I don't think that the phone soap is the first UV sterilizer out there, and there are probably many other versions of the phone soap that were released even before COVID-19 hit. But once COVID-19 did hit, the phone soap quickly became a very popular product that was sold out everywhere and was being reviewed by many YouTubers. A year has passed and now there are tons of many other options out there that tend to have extra features built into their sterilizers to differentiate themselves from the competition. Some of the sterilizers that you do find have things like wireless charging on top of the box or even inside. Some may have a small hole at the side of the sterilizer that allows for a charging cable to pass through so that you can charge your phone while sterilizing it. The Samsung one over here does indeed have a wireless charger inside the case. Now before I talk about what my overall thoughts are on these UV sterilizers and whether or not you should pick one up for yourself, let's first talk about the Samsung UV sterilizer. The Samsung UV sterilizer was released in August of 2020 and it sold for around $108 SGD. That is definitely quite expensive considering that there are many alternatives out there that are cheaper. I did pick up this new UV sterilizer from a seller on Carousel for 12 Singapore dollars, which I must say was definitely much better than going to Samsung and paying a full 108 SGD. The UV sterilizer is pretty large and can fit many large phones such as my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Prior to buying this sterilizer, I actually already owned another sterilizer by Lifro, but the problem with that sterilizer was that it only fit up to my Galaxy Note 10 Plus without a case, and when I later upgraded to the Note 20 Ultra, it wouldn't fit. And before anyone asks, it does fit a Galaxy Z Fold 2, but only when it's folded of course. There is a 10 watt wireless charging pad found inside of the case where you put your phone inside to sanitize. So it isn't the fastest wireless charging option out there, but it isn't too slow as well. Oddly enough, the sterilizer only supported 10 watt wireless charging for my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but when I did put my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in, it didn't allow for fast wireless charging, which meant that it was charging the Note 20 Ultra slowly, uh, which is below 10 watts. I tried this on two Note 20 Ultras and the results were the same. To be fair, on Samsung's website, it does say that it is only compatible up to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra for some reason, which I guess kind of makes sense as to why the Note 20 Ultra isn't officially supported. Also, in order to enable the fast wireless charging in the sterilizer, I needed to connect a power brick that was able to deliver at least 15 watts of power like this old Samsung fast charging power brick. A sterilization cycle would be about 10 minutes and Samsung claims that the sterilizer can kill up to 99% of harmful bacteria. But do take note of how Samsung only claims this for bacteria and not viruses. In the box, you will find the sterilizer itself, a USB-C cable which is always nice to see, and some paperwork. Now if you know me, I am a big USB-C fan, so I'm glad that Samsung decided to make this product a USB-C one. So how does the UV sterilizer work? Well firstly you put whatever object you want into the box like your phone, spectacles, wireless earpieces or whatever you can fit in the box and then you press this small button at the front uh, and a small green light lights up and you also hear a beep sound indicating that the device was activated. As with most sterilizers out there, if you do open the box while sterilizing, the UV lights will turn off. In the case of this sterilizer, there is a small button thing at the back of the device which if not pressed down will not allow the UV lights to activate. What you're seeing me doing is using a toothpick to show you how the ultraviolet light looks like on the inside of the box. Technically, we can't really see ultraviolet light, so I'm not really sure what the light that we are seeing here is. Now, don't do this at home if you do have one of these UV sterilizers as exposure to UV light isn't good for your skin or any parts of your body such as your eyes as well. So I'm only doing this to show you how it looks like so that you don't have to. 
If you're wondering, I wasn't directly looking at the UV light and I was only looking at it through the viewfinder on my camera. So don't do this at home as this may cause some damage to your skin or your eyes. After 10 minutes, you will hear a beep sound again and the green light will turn off. That's when you know that the sterilization cycle had ended. So with all that being said, how effective is the UV sterilizer? Well, I did some searching around the web and found that there are a few types of UV lights for sterilization. There is UVA, UVB, and UVC. The difference between them are the wavelengths of the light. So here's a short physics lesson. All lights operate on different wavelengths. Visible light, uh, which is light that we see, is between about 380 nanometers to 780 nanometers in wavelength. The smallest wavelength of light that we see is 380 nanometers, which shows the color violet or purple. And below that, we have the ultraviolet spectrum of light, which is roughly between 100 nanometers to 400 nanometers in length. So with all that knowledge that I hope you understand, the Samsung UV sterilizer uses the UVC standard, which uses the shortest wavelengths of the three, at 180 nanometers to about 280 nanometers. This makes it effective at destroying microorganisms like bacteria, and this is why the UVC standard is the standard that many hospital equipments use for sterilization purposes. However, even after seeing all of that, Samsung did not claim that their UV sterilizers was effective against COVID-19 specifically. So I guess we can't assume that the UV sterilizer will work against COVID-19, as if it did, Samsung would be pretty confident about it and they would probably use it to drive their sales up. Of course, this doesn't mean that the UV sterilizer isn't useful. It still does help to get rid of many different variants and varieties of harmful bacteria, which, you know, we can't really complain about. So with all that being said, what are my thoughts on UV sterilizers and should you get one? Well, with a lot of tech, it's more complicated than a simple yes or no because it always depends on your specific needs. At the beginning of this pandemic, due to the lack of cleaning products like wet wipes and alcohol wipes, the next best option to clean your phone was either to wash it under running water with soap or to pick up one of these UV sterilizers. In terms of the phone soap UV sterilizer specifically, I knew that it was pretty much impossible to pick up due to the limited stocks available and limited places that it would ship to. Its prices pretty much skyrocketed as fast as the RTX series graphics cards when they first launched. I can't speak for the other parts of the world, but somewhere during the circuit breaker period last year in Singapore, there was an availability of these UV sterilizers that could be found in electronic stores such as Challenger. They were of course different brands and were not the phone soap. And due to the lack of wet wipes or alcohol wipes and me not wanting to constantly run my Note 10 Plus underwater for fear that it may get in one day, I decided to pick up a Lifro UV sterilizer for my whole family to use as it was pretty much the next best thing to cleaning our phones and other small objects that we may have, even though it cost me at least over 60 Singapore dollars if I can remember clearly. Once I got my Note 20 Ultra, however, the Lifro UV sterilizer pretty much became useless to me as my phone was now too big to be put inside the running track shaped UV sterilizer. As of today, most developed countries no longer suffer from pandemic goods shortages. Masks and hand sanitizers along with wet wipes and alcohol wipes are now readily available. At least that's the case here in Singapore. But I still decided to pick up the Samsung Fit UV sterilizer as I thought it would be something good to use every now and then instead of having to use wet wipes and alcohol wipes every day. And let's face it, these wipes are single use and thus are not really exactly good for the environment. Also, these UV sterilizers have drastically seen a drop in price from when they first came onto the scene last year. For example, I got this new Samsung UV sterilizer for just 12 Singapore dollars off of Carousel. So is it worth it? Yes and no. I would say yes if you have a phone that isn't water resistant like a Galaxy Z Fold 2 or any other mid-range phone which doesn't have an IP rating and other small devices like wireless earbuds and wallets as well. However, if you like to use wet wipes or don't mind washing your water-resistant phone with soap, and especially if you can't find these things for cheap, then no, you don't have to pick one up. Anyways, that's been it. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up, and if you disliked it, do give it a thumbs down. Do let me know down in the comments below if you do have one of these UV sterilizers, and do share your opinions about them too so that people in the comments can get a better understanding of these things. Do subscribe and share this video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.